Alright all you Red Dogs fans, this is Rick Franceschino, your starting left fielder and the voice of the Red Dogs. Uh, joining me today on the Dog Pound, the first inaugural episode of this, is uh, Roy Franceschino, former Red Dogs player. Uh, currently he is um, coming back from injury. Uh, we hope to see him on the field uh, pretty pretty soon. Um, but as of right now, he's uh, kind of going through the motions of getting back in uh, healthy. A lot of rehab everything. here, Rick. A lot of rehab. Mm-hmm. So, but you will, you should be joining us next week, right? I will be, I will be in attendance okay. next week. Um, you know, I'm going to try to give it a go. Mm -hmm. um, if I can't in warm-ups, I'm going to uh, be a third base coach. Sounds good, sounds good. So, um, the Dog Pound for all you, this is our first episode. Uh, it's just kind of looking back on our uh, last week and previous weeks of Red Dog Softball. I'm going to look about four weeks and just kind of just to get you updated on what's going on with the team. So uh, last week, as you know, was opening weekend. We had a doubleheader against uh, the Letty Deppers and the Zantes, which first game, Letty Dippers, we won 21-7, and then the second game was against Zantes, we won 17-3. So first weekend, opening weekend, we start, the Red Dogs start 2-0. Yeah, it sounded like you guys had a real, real successful uh, mm -hmm. two wins there in the first week. Uh, a, a solid two wins. I can't tell you the last time Red Dogs had a uh, two uh, doubleheader opening weekend, uh, but we uh, took out two wins. So can't ask for anything more than that. Uh, AJ went 8-10 for 10 with uh, seven RBIs, just to go over the stats. Uh, I went for 10 for 11 with seven runs, and Mangerson did a hell of a job pitching 11 innings and uh, only four earns with a 275 year rate. Four pins, too. So, um, overall, solid performance from the Red Dogs in the in opening day weekend, starting 2 0. I know you weren't there, but uh, what do you gather about this team so far? Uh, you know, I watched. Watch the tape, watch the video. Mm -hmm. um, I was very impressed with our team. You know, our guys went out there, executed, mm -hmm. we came out strong. Um, you know, we weren't sloppy. Nope. So, um, you know, I think it's just kudos to our off season regiment. Um, we really, really trained really hard in the off season, and uh, first week it looks like it showed. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. And and some key notes too coming into this season was the first time I think in season history or Red Dogs history that James Pickham did not start the mound. It was actually Mangerson coming in from left field, uh, taking over the pitching role. Pickham went out to uh, right center. Uh, any other switches? Keith Farrell went from outfield to shortstop, his natural position. Um, and AJ is making his uh, making catcher his permanent position from now on. So there's a lot of switching around there going on with the Red Dogs. Uh, manager Dougie Lammy had to uh, take control of the team. Uh, and kind of put people in their place. And so far, I think the lineup has looked pretty solid, would you say? Yeah, real, real strong, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just consistency. So uh, I think we got the lineup finally tinkered to where mm -hmm. it needs to be. Yep. Uh, to have Sounds a real good. successful, strong season. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we look to improve. We, we look really good. Season. Now, um, I know we got some callers that we want to listen out to. Uh, we are trying to get through everybody, so I think we only have time for a couple callers. But uh, we'll go out to Nick in uh, Mokina. Nick, uh, thanks for calling. Hey guys, first time caller. Really proud to be on the inaugural show of the Dog Pound. Uh, my question to you guys is, is, you looked really strong at the plate and in the field. I was wondering what your off-season workouts were, if you had any, and, and what the regiment for the team looked like. Because mm -hmm. like I said, you looked like a real strong <coughs> out there. I'll, I'm going to hang up and, uh, and listen to your answer. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank for, thanks for calling, Nick. I uh, really appreciate that. So, um, workouts, uh, what do you think? So, yeah, I mean, I touched on it earlier mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, you know, I can go a little more into detail here. So, you know, when I was talking about our off-season uh, training, you know, it's we've totally completely changed our diet, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So, you know, we've tried in previous years going more the nutritional route, right? So, I mean, we were doing okay, but it's not where we want to be. No, not at all. So, um, you know, we consulted a couple different people, and we've tried essentially to go towards a more comfort food uh, style diet. A lot of popcorn, a lot of candy. A lot of sugars, a lot, a lot of fatty foods, right? Yeah, so, yep. so more the potato chips. Uh, the birthday cake, the pizza, those type of foods, right? Yep. So, I mean, again, first week it showed that, like, it seems like it, it's helped out uh, enormously. Uh-huh. Uh, Absolutely. The power shown. We have the numbers yeah, to prove it. So, with that being said, 
Um, as well, you know, in previous years, we, we're bigger guys, we're jack guys, we got a lot of muscle. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been trying to stay off the weights as well. Uh, you know, previous years, we hit the weights real, real hard. I think uh, too hard. It was almost to a fault, right, really. Right, yeah. You know, we got the big guys, AJ, Weimer, Mangerson. Uh, they want to swing the long ball. And what happens is we start popping out, and I think it's good that we're kind of steering away from the uh, the weights a little bit more. You just gotta tone tone it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we want to be more line drive hitters. Yep. So you know Small we, ball. we got a little too much muscle mass right now. Exactly. So, so I definitely do think I definitely do think the 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 weight regimen of uh, working out has has helped tremendously. We also I think had a one or two practices before the year. They went really well. Did some BP. Uh, team looked overall good in those practices, and it showed in our first two games. Um, we want to go out to our next caller, like I said, because we have such limited time. Uh, we're going to go out to Johnny in Naperville. Uh, Johnny, thanks for calling the dog pound. Yeah, my, my question to you guys is, was there any difference in opening day being a doubleheader as compared to one game? I, I know the first game got rained out, and you, and you had to make mm -hmm. it up last week was was the preparation different for for having a double header rather than one game uh i really like to get your thoughts on that now uh, thanks guys mm -hmm. and, and i think in our first interview with uh weimer we kind of discussed that a little bit about how the the double header would affect us uh, to be honest i think we actually played better in the second half the second game rather than the first game i know we there was some travel too because we started at uh Centennial, we had to move to Humphrey, but overall, I think the guys were really ready to play. Uh, you know, a long off season, coming off a tough playoff loss last year, I think we were eager to get out on the field uh, and show the league what we can do. Uh, I definitely think preparation kind of stayed the same. Um, Roy, what do you have some thoughts on? I was really concerned when I heard about the doubleheader last mm -hmm. week. I was really concerned with the uh, the T factor. Sorry, guys, uh, just lost my train of thought there. Um, so. I was really worried from game one to game two of us slowing down mm -hmm. our momentum. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, with the, us changing nutrition, going less weight, I think that enormously helped our, our guys, um, you know, battle through that second definitely. game. I think uh, we almost played better in that second game we than did the first too. game. So. And you know what? Also, and, and, and shout out to the president, Mr. Pickham. He actually brought the team some zebra cakes, um, some other snack fruit snacks, uh, you know, and that really helped us out. I know Zimmer, I think, ate about five or six of those. Um, but the zebra cakes were huge, and I think Dougie Lammy brought talked about that too in the post game uh, interview. Zebra cakes were huge to that to that second game boost, and I think that really showed uh, in the stats line. Uh, we want to go out to our last caller. We only have time for one more. Um, we're going to go out to Eddie in uh, Texas. Eddie, you're on you're on the uh, the dog pound. Hey, Rick and Roy, really long time listener here. I was wondering, would you consider this? Red Dogs team a more offensive or defensive team. Now I know in previous years the Red Dogs would consider themselves more of an offensive team. However, in the two games last week, they really looked defensively. Um, I want to get your your thoughts and intake on this question, and I'll hang up and listen. Thank you guys. Oh, thanks for the call. Uh, you know what? This has been a, a hot topic for uh, Red Dogs players and the Red Dogs fans. I know in previous years, for uh, I would say our big boppers, you know, the Tominos, the the AJs, the Weimers, the Mangersons, will probably say this is more of an offensive team. You know, I even I would even throw Pickham into that category. You know, they like to hit the long ball more, focus on the offense. But to be honest, after the first game, I think personally that we are probably more of a defensive team. Than I mean, we it's would hard to say this after one game, right? Well, two games. Uh, two games. Yeah. I'm sorry, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. No. Um, you Definitely know, not. I think we're, we're working our way towards being a more balanced team. I think so. Because, uh, you, know, you know what, you bring up a good point. We've been way more offensive in past years, and our defense have really We really haven't down. focused on defense. Not we, at we all. We're only concerned not with our, our offense. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we still made a lot of errors consistently on defense. You know, yeah, in a previous lot of bad years. throws, um, you know, misplay balls. Simple plays. Simple Fundamentals. Plays we should be making. Fundamentals. Um, and I think, too, that goes back with our tweaked lineup, you know, Farrell coming into his natural position at shortstop, that's going to help tremendously with the defense. Uh, Rick was more so in right center. Had a really good gear last year, and, and they're moving me over left. I think that's going to play well. You know, I have that cannon arm, Roy, and that's going to help tremendously with hitting the relay, man. Um, Spy is at second base now with permanently. AJ's catcher. I feel that this is probably one of the best defensive teams that we've had in Red Dogs history. Would you agree with me on that? Yeah, definitely. Um, 
the way we've done that alignment now, I think is the best team we've had in years. As far as um, defense goes. As far as it, defensive goes, I think the guys are where they need to be. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, we're taking each guy's skills mm -hmm. and, and putting them in the, in the position to succeed, Rick. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you know what that goes? Dougie Lammy uh, made some switches to the batting lineup too. You know, he's kind of spread out our power hitters throughout the lineup, and I think that has helped tremendously as well. Uh, kind of spreading out the power rather than just having it in one place. That is absolutely huge. Now, the other topic we want to talk about is if you haven't seen the interviews or if you weren't at our, uh, our game last week, the Red Dogs uh, got new threads. Do we not? We got some new uniforms, right? So Roy's going to show you the back there. They're looking really good. Now, in previous years, our first year, you can see in the back, we have the uh, the whites back there. Those were our first unis, and we, we went to the blacks a couple years later. But uh, we felt that we the Red Dogs, with the new resurgence of this team, needed new uniforms. Uh, we want to thank Spy, our starting second baseman, and Tamino, our first baseman, on uh, hooking up with these new threads. I, I really like them. Would you agree, Roy? Sharp, sharp. Yeah. I just like them. They give me flexibility. The blacks, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like I feel just like absolutely, you know, get those I biceps. Could be loose, yeah. you know, one hundred percent. The little, the other uniforms were a little, little tight, tight, little, little tight. constricting. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely helps with like, the mobility. Like when the I'm mobility. Base, I can send them around, you know. Like before with those, you know, it was it's a little, little bit hard. Little tough. The sleeves were a little, little bit tough. hard, and, I, and I, I can, you know, <laughs> send them around. <laughs> really get them going. <laughs> really get them going. I love it. No, no, I love it. The other thing, too, that I'd have to see what you have to say on this, but our previous uniforms were not button downs all the way. Now, these we can, you know, for guys like me, if we want to show a little bit chest, we have that option now, whereas before in our previous uniforms, uh, we could not. Now, I know when it gets to the dead heat of, of summer, because it's going to get there, it's going to get pretty hot. It's, I mean, we might have. Real hot I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past Pickham maybe to go, to go, to go like shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> it opened up a little bit. Uh, Pick up seems like that guy. I don't know. Yeah. might have an issue with that. Uh, but they you might, might give it a go. He might. He might. might give it a go. <laughs> so pick him if you're listening. Uh, you know, you might want to make the ladies a little bit happy with uh, going just a no undershirt. You know, l leave all the buttons down. But I, I do think that the uniforms are a nice addition to this to this year's Red Dogs team. I know um, we were looking for new uniforms for a while. I'm really happy that we could uh, finally get them, and they look really good. And uh, yeah, boy, did they I, cost a lot. They did. They did. They cost so, an arm and a leg. But you know what? I'm okay with that. We look good. These are going to last a couple years. I'm very happy with how they came out. Now, um, jumping into uh, as far as next week, going to the injury report. I know Weimer had a uh, Weimer had a little bit of a leg issue last week in the second game um, in one of the early innings. However, he came bounced back right really quickly. Uh, he looked really healthy and he finished out game two fine. Now, as far as the other injury report, uh, I don't think anyone. Uh, I mean, I've still been out there, um, working on one knee, um, and training really, really hard to get back. You know, yeah, the rehabilitation. How's that on. been going? What's that? <laughs> the rehabilitation. It's been going good. good. Um, you know, I just started uh, bending, so um, you know, I'm walking <laughs> okay now. I still get pain sometimes here and there, yeah, in it. but um, well, otherwise you're intense. good. You're but good. uh I, I'm yeah, I'm ready to go. Well, Sorry, you know I'm what? Ready is, to go. Is we'll I know as I know last year you said you had a little bit of a shoulder problem with the Yeah, that <laughs> I've had that around. too. Um but I think with this new jersey and the material, I'm gonna really be able to swing it around. So um I feel more comfortable with my shoulder than my knee at this point. Okay. Um okay. so you know, it is what it is. Exactly. I'm so a we're fragile guy. So but overall, we're, as far as the injury goes, we're pretty good for uh, the start of ne next week. Um, we also want to go to our tweet of the week, which is Red Dog Superfan sixty nine. Oh, they got to probably be a fan of Dougie. Yeah, sixty nine. Um, Shout out to Dougie. There. Exactly, good old Dougie. Um, but the tweet is Red Dogs Outfield, aka the Four Horsemen. Hashtag the Four Horsemen. Um, I know it's been going around that that, that the outfield four had been a solid uh, unit in the first two games. Um, and they do really resemble the four horsemen out there. You know, the well, like the pretty guys. You got the couple of brutes out there in the Ed Twin. Um, you got the woo in Ric Flair. Like, uh, you know, I got that voice that kind of just echoes throughout the whole field. Um, but there you go, the four horsemen. Hashtag four horsemen outfield red dogs. I, uh, I really like it. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be our new tandem out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a great, I think it's a great nickname for them. 
And uh, look, look solid. They, they look like solid guys out there. Yeah. Just really, I feel good. Is, is it's being, all about communication. You know, and being there. part of that unit, I think Jason's good out there in left center. He's uh, he's really gotten some confidence out in that outfield, and I think that outfield's going to be really solid. One of the best outfields we've had pretty much uh, in Red Dogs history. Uh, moving on to our games uh, coming up, we have, let's see, May 17th at 7.30. So we'd like to see you guys out there against Pelican Harry's. I'd just like to add two guys. Mm -hmm. um, it's free. So, Absolutely um, free, 100% free. free. To anybody, we, you know, we prefer a lot of girls um, out there. Preferably the between so. the ages of 18 and 25. So if yeah. you're in that age group, last single guys out there in the team like to prove themselves mm -hmm. out. Absolutely. So you know, if putting their you, hearts uh, in the field on the softball field. Yeah, we'd love for you to guys to come exactly. out and cheer us on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Maybe so go out for your. Uh, so you something, know what? Something we do go out to Coach's Corner afterwards. So if you want to join some yeah. after after game uh, festivities, you can join us there. So May seventeenth, seven thirty, Pelican Harry's. Uh, I don't believe I don't know if it's Centennial or Humphrey yet. Ooh, um, we should probably uh, look we'll, get, we'll get an update. You know on what? That, we guys. will. I'm sorry. Once uh, we know, we will put it on the Red Dogs Network. Just go, uh, go go on Facebook, look up Red Dogs Network, give us a like. Uh, that information will be out there once we know. So we May seventeenth, seven thirty, Pelican Harry's. Next week after that is May twenty fourth. Is off due to Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I know the summer summer schedule is a little crappy, bit, shitty schedule. It is, honestly. you know, a lot of days off. We yeah, want to be Day off. every weekend. Bless my mother. It's brutal. But uh, Memorial Day off, and then we'll have July Fourth off weekend. But that's upcoming. So May twenty fourth, we have an off day. Off day, uh, and then May thirty first, we'll have six thirty against Man Bear Puigs. Uh, really shitty name. To be honest, I, think. I I have no clue what the hell that means. I, I, I really bad. Name. I guess we'll really have to name. beat the shit out of them and then ask them why exactly. the hell are they named that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, as far as the scouting report on those teams, uh, Man Bear Puigs, we don't know much about. I want to say they're new to the league. Uh, Pelican Harry's always a solid team. They uh, they put up a good uh, good eleven every now and then again. So uh, we look to uh, beat them hopefully after our two zero opening day win. But otherwise. Uh, that concludes the Dog Pound First uh, weekly episode. We will try to make it a weekly thing if we can, uh, I, ideally. But we have to look at the schedule and see what we can do. Um, I know, Roy, you might be joining me in future broadcasts. I, really, I would love to. I would I, love to. I really look forward if we can make this a weekly thing. I, uh, I think this would be great for the team and the Red Dogs Network. Uh, so if you can, give us a like. Give us a thumbs up, like the Red Dogs Network. Uh, you know, first year coming out, I think it's great for the team. But uh, overall, this is a great first episode. We look for more in the future. Uh, you know, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at uh, Centennial or Humphrey at 7.30 this coming Sunday against Pelican Harry's. I uh, really Go appreciate it. Go Red Dogs. We're going to finish out with the uh, the Red Dog Anthem. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? The dogs out? We will see you guys uh, next week. Hopefully at the field. Let the dogs Otherwise, you enjoy, uh, you enjoy your nice week and Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. Uh, we couldn't do this without you, so this day is yours. Um, so long and... Let's go, Red Dogs!